In this video, we'll learn to recognize nonlinear data and then learn how to analyze it using Excel and Google Sheet. So in this column, you see the date. And in this column, you have COVID-19 from the world other than China. Uh, we're going to make a scatter plot. So for the scatter plot, let's choose insert and then choose scatter without any line. And you can see, unlike other data we had collected so far, it is the trend of this data is nonlinear. So next, we want to see what kind of trend it has. We can have linear trend. Definitely, it is not. That can be confirmed by looking at this correlation coefficient which is just 0.68. Ideally, it should be close to 1. Next, let's try the exponential trend. The correlation coefficient is nearly 0.98, uh, pretty good. So we can tell this is exponential data. So this number in the exponent, 0.156, gives us the rate of the increase. When we have nonlinear data of exponential form like this, we can linearize it by taking logs on both sides. So from the property of log, we know it becomes log y on the left hand side. So log a plus k times x. a being just a constant is simply a number. So that means we can plot log y and x. So let's take log of y and we can do that by typing log and selecting the number hitting enter. So now we can just expand that to cover all the numbers. So again we are making a scatter plot and now this looks kind of linear. Let's see how good the fit is by putting the trend line and looking at the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient is 0.98, which is same as what we had for the exponential fit. Both of them have same correlation coefficient for the linear trend versus exponential trend. The correlation coefficient is same for the linear trend as it was for the exponential one. So let's try to make sense of the numbers we see on the linear fit. So for that, let's look at our original equation where a where a is 184 and k is 0 0.156 so now when we compare the linear data with the log equation we can see log a is 5.2154 it means a is the exponential of that number, just property of log. Let's compute what the value of that exponential is. That gives us a. And k is this, which is same as this number, and that is same as that number, and that. Thus, k is virus spread rate. According to this data, the virus spread is increasing around 16% each day compared to previous day. That's how we get linear equation from the exponential equation and make sense out of those coefficients.